Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Hey guys, what's up? Daisy and I are here for another reaction video. Today we're watching Buttered Side Downs. Oh my god, oh my god, there's a huge flood coming, Daisy. Ah, he's gonna get washed away. Oh, he's underwater like a fish right now. Oh wow, okay, earlier that day, let's see what happened, okay? He's visiting Fontaine and what's that about? Someone swung water balloons and, and they ruined his ice cream. Okay, that is just rude. Oh my god, someone someone threw a water balloon at that guy who was on his bike and he like fell down. That's so rude. Alright, this guy's like trying to find out who it was. What? It's what it's just like a guy that came to life or something it's like <laughs> it's like a walking stick that came to life all right it's on i think he's gonna like he's gonna throw a water balloon back i think all right how do you like that huh what oh no he's gonna he's gonna slingshot it over the house oh <laughs> the two of them are in cahoots together now oh they're working on the same team that seems like an evil idea molly yeah, it, it definitely does. Okay, um, he found a huge water balloon, though, so now he's gonna blow this one up. Uh-oh! He's taking over from the evil, like, stick guy, and he's, okay, he's got a huge water balloon. Oh, he's excited about it! Okay. He's gonna put it in his homemade slingshot here. And ba-boom! Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> oh! What? Um, yeah, that was a lot of water. Uh, <laughs> don't encourage him to keep going. This is bad. Yeah, Molly, it, it is. Wait, did he just eat that? Oh, he's pulling him out of his mouth. Ew, gross. He, like, chewed it up into one balloon. Okay, that's gross. I didn't catch that at first, but now... Now I see that's what he's doing. Oh, he's tightening down the balloon. Here he goes, guys. He's blowing up this giant balloon. Oh, my God. He's going to take down the entire city with that huge balloon. Or he's turning up the water. Uh-oh. The water. The water faucet just broke. Does that mean that he can't turn it off? Oh, my God, guys. He can't turn off the water. The balloon keeps getting bigger and bigger. He's O-M-G. Oh, what? Oh, we just, it just got Mr. Stick Guy. Okay, um, I think he's trying to, he's going to try to pop it with that. All right, you better. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, my gosh. Molly, this is getting pretty intense. Holy guacamole, guys. Slam the like button if you think that that's going to destroy the whole town. Um, Daisy, it definitely just destroyed a house. Wow. Oh, man, the guy on the bicycle. Oh, <laughs> he stole the guy's bicycle. Wow. You're a goner, dude. He doesn't even know what to do with himself. He's like, oh, oh. A giant red balloon is taking over the entire town! Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, he is going as fast as he can on somebody's stolen bicycle. Um, and the balloon is chasing him. This is pretty intense. I know, Molly. Do you think he'll out um ride the balloon? No, I think the balloon's out to get him. Oh, that lady with her coffee is getting mad. Oh, oh my God! Look at her. Sick, uh oh, I'm getting smushed by a balloon. I, that's that's my fate in life. Oh, is it gonna knock over the buildings? I don't know. It just it looks like this is gonna be a bad thing. He's squeezing down to the buildings. That giant evil water balloon is. Da, 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 da. Oh, he almost hit a car. Oh boy, he hit a car. Oh, he got in a car accident on his bike. Oh my god, guys, what's gonna happen? This is getting crazier and crazier by the second. This water balloon is... Wait, is that a pigeon? <laughs> the pigeon's gonna poke a hole in it, I bet. Oh, it did! Oh my god, guys. Now here comes a, like, a giant tidal wave. Whoa! 
This isn't good. Oh, he knows he can't outrun it. He can't outrun it! Oh, well, he's a good swimmer. Tell me about it, Molly. This is getting so... Oh, my God. Bad. It's bad. Um, yeah, he's he's underwater. Totally. Oh, there goes a coffee cup. And there goes him. <gasps> Wait, what's that? <gasps> oh, my God. Is he in an underground world? What was that? That was weird. I don't know what that was. Someone took their coffee. They took the coffee back. Maybe it was that woman. She's really a mermaid. Oh, my God. He's above water, guys. He's he's going down through all the buildings in the city. I... I, I don't even know what I'd do. I hope I had a boat. That's what I would hope. Molly, he's he's not going to make it. He's trying to, but someone else is pushing him under the water. Oh, wait, no. I think he's pushing someone else under the water. I don't know. I'm confused right now, but uh-oh. He's going to grab a hold of that. Did he grab it? Guys, what happened to him? Oh, my God. There's Mr. Stick. Wait. Did he just get knocked out? Was it all a crazy dream? <gasps> um, I think so, guys, but... Oh, he's a penguin. <laughs> that was intense, guys. What did you think of the water balloon that took down the city? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see more of these reaction videos, slam that like button. We'll see you guys next time. Just like do some of your homework no it's friday night i still have like three days before i have to do homework um two days because it's on monday not if you count monday <laughs> i was thinking that i could do my homework in first period study hall oh yeah yeah molly what about studying too that's what you're supposed to do in study hall girls <laughs> i'll see you later grandma will be here any minute whoa 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 where are you going mom and, and you got a suitcase are you leaving us Mom, don't leave us! Molly, I already told you where I was going, remember? Yeah, Molly, she told us at the beginning of the week. Um, I don't remember you telling me. I do, Molly. Good morning, Molly. Uh-huh, good morning. Ooh, waffles, mm, so delicious. Ooh, we got ice cream, too. Molly, why are you eating that for breakfast? Oh, my gosh. Molly, I have to tell you something. Mm-hmm, I'm listening. Ooh, this waffle's delicious. <gasps> Pizza, too? I'm going to be going out of town for a work trip this weekend, so Grandma's going to be staying with you. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say. Mm. Pizza, too? Oh, a greasy cup? <laughs> Molly, are you even listening to me? Oh, this girl, all she does is think about her stomach. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mom? I wouldn't be eating like that. Molly, you eat like that every day. Ah, uh, yeah, she has a point. But Reese cups! They're so delicious. Try eating a salad, Molly. She's like, she's like the angel on my shoulder that tells me the good things to do. And I'm the devil on the other side. And I'm like, no, eat everything delicious. <laughs> yeah, Molly, I am an angel. You could definitely say that again. Okay, girls, I love you. Now, Grandma said she's pulling in the driveway any second. So I'm just going to go put my luggage in the car. Will you watch baby Kira for me? Sure, Mom. She's just chilling here watching Brooke High. And I'm doing some studying. I love you, girls. Bye, Mom. A few hours later. Hello. Is anyone home? Of course we're home, Grandma. Where else would we be? We're babysitting. Be You're babysitting us. Ah! Grandma, is that blood on your shirt? No, silly. Those are flowers. Oh, okay. Um, your choice of outfit, Grandma, is crazy. You have rollers in your hair and blood on your shirt. Molly, she said they're flowers. Hi, baby Kira. Uh, Grandma, I can tell you I love you so much. Oh, sweet little girl. Now, what are we doing? We're watching Brooke High, Grandma. Doesn't that sound amazing? Yes, but don't you have some chores? Grandma, it's Friday night. We have no chores. We should order a pizza, though. Stay up till 1 a.m. Play video games. Oh, dear. I don't think so. I run a very tight ship around here, and besides that, I need my beauty rest. And I'm telling you now, don't get out of your bed after I put you in it. Who? Us? <laughs> yeah, right. We're the best kids in the world. You know that. Um, yeah, except for this one over here. Daisy, are you trying to point at me behind your back? Who, me? No. 
Oh, I'm just saying, you girls need to behave yourselves or else. No, we will, Grandma. We promise. Now, can we order a pizza? Sure, we can. All right, I'll um get them on the phone. Wait, do you want Tony's or do you want Angelo's? Angelo's for sure. Lo, how can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'd like to place an order for a pizza. You didn't pay me for your pizza last time. Um, that wasn't my fault, Angelo. I'm telling you, I washed the dishes. What more do you want from me? Uh, Angelo, please. Can we have a pizza with pepperoni? Our grandma is here. She'll pay for it. Okay. I'll deliver it in about 20 minutes. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Oh, they have the best pizza ever. I got little monkey. He's so cute. I love him. Grandma, could we have some soda with our pizza? Sure, as long as you don't stay up past 10 p.m. Never, Grandma. We'd never do that. 20 minutes later. Holy guacamole. This is the best pizza ever. Ugh, I feel like I'm going to have to put on my fat pants. Ugh, just, just lean back here. Maybe I can get more pizza in. <laughs> ay, 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 Molly. Why are you eating so much pizza? Because, mmm. I don't know why I'm going to eat it again because mom's always like, pizza's not that great for you. Why are you eating so much of it? So when grandma's here, eat it all. I want to eat pizza too. Okay. Well, here's a slice of pizza for you, baby Kara. Thank you, grandma. <laughs> Still your piece of pizza. Mm, that's delicious. Molly food. Okay, well, I only wanted to take two bites of it. Here you go. You can have it back, baby Kara. Grandma. Mean to me. <laughs> Molly, behave yourself or you'll be going to bed extra early. Sorry. I just can't help myself when it comes to pizza. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. She's gone crazy. I'm going to go see if there's any soda in the fridge. Mom always keeps some in here for like a special occasion because we're not allowed to drink it otherwise. Glug, 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 glug. Oops, I forgot to close the refrigerator. Don't want to do that. All oh, the food will go bad. Wouldn't that be sad? Ooh, grape soda. One of my favorites. I chose a classic Coca-Cola. All right, girls. It's time for night-night. Grandma, nobody calls it night-night anymore. We're all grown up. You're not all grown up yet, or you wouldn't need a babysitter. Now off to bed with you. Don't forget to brush your teeth after all that pepperoni and sugary soda. You got it, Granny. Hey, DC, let's stay up late and, um, you know, just, like, play games, play Roblox and stuff. But Grandma said we have to be in bed by 10 p.m. Ah, 10, Shmam. I think we should stay up all night long. Molly, that's a horrible idea. Now put on your pajamas and go to bed. Oh, somehow you think that you're a mom all of a sudden. Newsflash! I'm staying up and playing Roblox. Good luck when you get in trouble. You'll be all by yourself in detention. Daisy, ugh, it's not detention. We're at home. It's grandma detention. You wait and see. There's no such thing as granny detention. Right, guys? All right, first thing I need to do is pretend I'm sleeping because I don't want granny to actually think I'm awake. So when she comes in at 10 o'clock, I'm just going to get under my covers and pretend. <laughs> I think Daisy's actually already sleeping. No, I'm not, Molly, because you're talking to the camera. Go to sleep. <laughs> she obviously doesn't understand that I'm a famous YouTuber. I talk to the fans. Yeah, and you should talk a little less at 10 o'clock at night. Ugh, sisters. So annoying. Is everyone in bed in here? It's 10 o'clock. Um, yes, Grandma. Now you're going to pretend you were sleeping, Molly. Both of you get to sleep right away. Okay, Grandma, but we are actually in bed. We're just, you know, we can't decide when our bodies go to sleep. Good point, but go to bed. But, Grandma, I have to go potty. Molly, what are you, five? No, but I don't want to pee the bed, so, okay, is that all right? Yes, but then get right back into bed. Okay. I don't really have to go to the bathroom, but look at our view from our bathroom. Isn't it awesome? You can see the lake from up here. We don't own a lake house because we ain't that rich. <laughs> Come on now. Well, we can see the lake far over there in the distance. Whoa, actually, maybe I do have to go to the bathroom. Okay, done. Um, always wash your hands because if you don't, ew, that's gross. 
And um, now that Granny is going to be sleeping, I'm going to party! Party, party, party! Oh, I better be quiet. I'm going to wake her up. <laughs> okay, we just have to very quietly sneak past our Granny is sleeping in the guest room and not wake her up. Granny, what are you doing? Ah, Daisy, what, what are you doing scaring me half to death? What are you doing? You never came back after you went to the bathroom. Granny said be in bed by 10 o'clock and it's 10.49 p.m. Okay, but you're going to wake her up. She's sleeping right in there. She said don't wake her up or else. Yep, a granny time out. Yeah, she said she needs her beauty rest. What do you think she means by that? I think she means as you get old, you need to sleep more. You get really ugly. Wow, that sounds awful. Yeah, it's reality though. Now come on. No way. Come on, let's go play Roblox. She's snoring in the other room. She'll never know. Oh, I can't believe you've talked me into this, but it does sound pretty fun. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I knew you'd see things my way. Daisy, did you just hear footsteps? No, Molly, you're just being paranoid. Grandma sleeps like the dead. She, she won't be waking up. We'll just be quiet down here. She's all the way upstairs. Yeah, probably just being paranoid right now. Let's log into Roblox and play, I don't know, you wanna, you wanna play like Bloxburg and Avi? What? What is that I hear? Oh no, Grandma's up! And she's at the top of the stairs. We have to hide. Okay, um, I can find a good hiding spot. Where should I hide? Where should I hide? Maybe I could hide inside the washing machine. I don't know. No, that's a terrible idea. Uh, Molly, where are we gonna hide? A house is terrible for hiding spots. Okay, I've got a good spot. I'm behind the chair. She'll never see me back here. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that was an intruder. What was that sound? Huh? 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 Chew! What? Is that you back there, Molly? Uh-oh. Busted! Um, I had to go to the bathroom and the upstairs was plugged and, um, well, basically, um, I lost my way on the way back because I was really tired. I told you to be in bed by 10 p.m. Is that a taser, Grandma? Are you okay? Is there really blood on your shirt? What? No, but uh-oh. I told you not to get me out of bed at 10 p.m. I need my beauty rest. But, but Daisy, she was right over. Wait a minute. Where's Daisy? She's in bed. Okay, Grandma, I'll take my granny time out. This isn't gonna be good. Oh no. Granny, what's going on? The process is starting! Ah! Grandma! You ugly! What? No! I feel like a zombie, a crypt keeper! You did this to me! You. You awful child! I'm really sorry. I didn't know you would really get that ugly. Oh, my joints. I can feel them cracking and popping and... Um, you know what? I have a remedy for this. Be right back! So, we have these, um, gummy vitamins that we give baby Kira when she can't sleep. And they're just, like, all natural, but they're just, like, help her to feel really calm. It's got chamomile on it. And I'm just gonna get some of those right now for Granny. Um, because she obviously needs to go back to sleep right away. Here, this is chamomile, Grandma. It'll help you go back to sleep, I promise. Oh, my mother used to give me chamomile tea to help me sleep. Oh, when I was a child. Uh-huh. Just take one, Granny. Chamomile tea, um, gummies will definitely help you sleep. Oh, all right. But I don't think I like how I look. I look terrible. <laughs> Well, um, Grandma, you look kind of old even when you don't look like this. What? Oh, 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 oh. oh sorry. I'll have to give you an extra. Whoa. That knocked her out. She's sleeping. Okay. I'm going to have to try to pick her up and carry her back upstairs. Nah. She's too heavy. Um, I'll just, um, let her sleep here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go back to bed now because, um,. Obviously, when Grandma said she needed to go to bed at 10 p.m., she meant it. Hey, Daisy, thanks for um being a traitor. Well, I wasn't going to get caught. How'd it go? Did you get a granny time out? No, Daisy, 
grandma turned into the undead! What? Yeah, she just gets really ugly and like old and stuff. She doesn't get her sleep. She wasn't kidding about needing beauty rest. Ugh, it's going to haunt my nightmares forever. See you next, Melman. So tired. So tired. Couldn't sleep. Good morning, sleepy head. What were you doing last night? Did you have eh, bad dreams? Uh, bad dreams? No, Grandma, you were the bad dream. Me? I was in your bad dream? What happened? No, Grandma, you were a bad dream in real life. What? She's talking craziness again. You gave her granny time out, and now she's just feeling very disgruntled. I wasn't out of bed at all last night. What? Y yes, you were. Turned into the Crypt Keeper. Oh, no, me? No, I didn't. I slept like a baby. Only thing was, is I woke up on the floor this morning. <laughs> I must have rolled out of the bed and rolled down the stairs, and oh boy, I'm glad I didn't get a goose egg on my head. Grandma? You don't remember anything that happened last night? Guacamole, my granny really does turn into a monster after 10 p.m. Oh, <laughs> oh, your mom should be home soon and she can deal with this craziness. In the meantime, I made you girls some waffles. Daisy, can I see you over here for a minute? What, Molly? I'm about to get delicious granny waffles. She turned into this zombie looking thing last night because I got out of her bed and, and I gave her one of those chamomile shoes that we give to gummy things that we give to baby Kira when she can't sleep and she fell asleep on the floor. Molly, uh, your pranks are not going to work on me. I'm telling the truth! Huh. There's only one thing to do. Invite Grandma for a sleepover and film it. Then I can show everybody on YouTube. Hey Granny, um, you're amazing. Would you like to have a sleepover? Oh, I don't know. I already slept over once. Yeah, but tonight we can have a real sleepover. Popcorn and everything! Um, well, um, sure, why not? Good, Grandma. We'll all see you there. <laughs> oh, I hope you film it for the YouTube channels. <laughs> I want to be famous, too. Oh, Grandma, you will be. But maybe not for what you think. <laughs>
Do we have to make that wag at the iPhone? I'll even vacuum the floor. Just, I'm not that great at math. Which should be an encouragement to you, Molly, to study. And the test is tomorrow, so I'd get going. Yeah, okay. But first I want to watch some TV. Because I haven't watched any yet today, and I love watching TV. I won't watch it for that long. Just enough time to let my brain relax a little bit. A few hours later. OMG, that was a great episode. That made me think that I need to play that new survival game on Roblox. I haven't played it yet, and I definitely want to try it out. This is going to be awesome. Two hours later. What? Why didn't I win? Oh, I'm terrible at this game. I need more practice. Um, uh, Molly, just a friendly reminder, but it's been three hours since I made you the iPhone offer. Huh, what? Oh, um, yeah, Mom, I just... I had to win this Roblox game. I mean, I am a famous YouTuber and all. That's lovely, Molly. But if you want the iPhone, I suggest that you study for your math test or else you're going to fail and then no new iPhone. I mean, how will you FaceTime Brookie? Um, yeah, Mom, you have a point. I'm actually going to study. Really? Something I said actually got through to you and you're going to study? Oh, parenting win. Don't get too excited, Mom. I'm definitely the problem child still. Well, I'll take this one as a small win. Whoa, 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 what are you doing here, Molly? I'm, um, studying. Molly, it's 9.30 at night. It's a little late for studying, don't you think? Um, no, not at all. I'm just getting started. I'm gonna pull an all-nighter and basically do amazing on this test. Um, okay, Molly, if you say so. Try not to be too loud, though. I need my rest. It's a big day tomorrow. I'm gonna pass a test and get an iPhone. And so am I, Daisy. Well, if you had studied a bit more and... I don't need to hear that, Daisy. <sighs> One, two. What are you doing? Working out. A fit body goes along with having the healthiest mind. Okay, if you say so. I'll just be over here in the corner studying, studying, and studying some more. Oh, this math is so hard. Molly, you've literally been working on it for five minutes and you're already crying? Yes. Oh, it's so difficult. Molly, wipe your tears and keep your eye on the prize. That iPhone will be yours before you know it. Thanks, Daisy. I needed that motivation. Oh, my gosh. It's 3 a.m. I've been up for hours and hours and hours studying. Oh, I have to sleep. Must sleep. <coughs> oh, boy. Today's the day I get an iPhone. Molly. Molly. Well, she snoozes, she loses. Okay, well, <sighs> do a little few workout. I sit up just to wake up my brain, have some breakfast, and head out the door. Molly, you gonna wake up? Molly! <coughs> well, don't say I didn't try to help you. <coughs> what, what, what was that? Oh, wake up, Molly. Wake up! Does that say 9 a.m.? Ah! I'm getting well, good thing I slept in my clothes last night. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Ah, we just ran into the door. Holy guacamole. I'm going to be late. Well, well, well. Look who decided to get out of bed. Seems to me you failed the test. No, Mom, I haven't. Just get me to the end of the day. I'll show you. I'll show them all. I'll just run to school. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, the school bus waited for me. Oh, this is such good news. <laughs> it's not so bad after all, I guess. Thank you for waiting. Daisy, why are you wearing your lab coat from Halloween? Because, Molly, I'm going to be a famous scientist one day, and this coat just, I think it's lucky. It's a Halloween costume. Molly, shh. You just be grateful that you're not late for math and quit worrying about what I'm wearing for this test. It brings me luck. Oh, wow. Actually, we're earlier than everyone else. I thought we were going to be so late. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we're just going to wait for the rest of class to get here, and uh, then we can start our test, okay? Okay, Mr. Jared, no problem. I studied so hard last night. Ugh, I hardly got any sleep. She could have started studying three hours before and went to bed on time. Daisy, Ugh, sisters are exhausting. Okay, class, eyes on your own paper. You have exactly 15 minutes to finish this test. Whoa, hush. 15 minutes. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, I think I'm doing it right, I hope. 
Molly, quiet, please. Sorry, I kind of talked to myself out loud. No, I've, I've got this down. I'm sure of it. Okay, I'm done. Well, Molly, that was the fastest you've ever completed a test. Good job. So, Molly, how do you think you did on your math test? I don't know. I thought I was doing really good, but now that the test is over, I feel like maybe I made mistakes. Did you study? You probably didn't, right? No, I stayed up really late till like 3 o'clock in the morning studying. Oh, my gosh, Molly. Are you even standing right now? I don't know. I'm just tired and I'm worried. Well, turn that frown upside down because today is pizza day. Wow. My stomach's kind of upset. I don't think I'm going to eat pizza. What? But you love pizza day. I'm too nervous about this test. Why is this test in particular so worrisome to you, Molly? Because my mom said that if we pass the test, my sister and I could get iPhones. Whoa, are you serious? Wow, that's like an amazing prize for, for doing really well on your test. No wonder you're nervous. Yeah, and even lunch lady Marge can't even change that. Even with her most delicious pizza. Molly, I think I did amazing. I'm going to get an iPhone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm getting an iPhone, but I'm just a little nervous because, I don't know, math is hard for me. Molly, are you sure that you don't want a piece of pizza? No, I can't eat anything right now. My stomach's too upset. Too worried I, pa I passed that test. Um, Daisy, what are you doing? I'm writing down all the accessories I'm going to get with my new iPhone. Ugh, I'm just wondering if I'm going to get the iPhone. Molly, you studied half the night. I'm sure you did really well on the test. Don't worry. Thanks, Brookie. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Well, lunch is over. Time to find out the test results. I'm excited and nervous, but I did finish the test really quickly, so I think I did pretty good. I hope I have to get at least a 70 on it to pass and get my new iPhone. Well, boys and girls, I'm pretty pleased with the test results, but I have a few of you that failed. So I hope you can study harder next time. Molly, here's your test. Great job, Daisy. A 92. I'm getting an iPhone. Molly, how'd you do? A 68. Two points away from my iPhone? Excuse me, Mr. Jared, I think this must be a mistake. No, Molly, you failed fair and square. Oh, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to get an iPhone and I'm gonna like it. Oh man, maybe mom will just look over those two points and say, well, it's not that big a deal. Hey girls, ugh, the vacuum got clogged again. Ugh. Mom, I'm so excited! You are? Wait, did you get your test results today? Yeah, and I passed, Mom, so I get an iPhone. Do -de -do 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 -do. How about you, Molly? How'd you do? Um, I did okay. Yeah, fine, I guess, but don't worry. I, I, I don't need to show you my test. Molly, show me the test, please. She failed! Daisy! Sorry, but it's the truth, Molly. But mom, it's only two points. I got a 68. Molly, the requirement was you passed a 70. But mom. Sorry, Molly. I made the rules. No iPhone. Oh, that's not fair. Daisy gets everything. I worked so hard. That's not fair. Oh. The next morning. This iPhone has so many features. I can't even believe it. It's amazing, Molly. Uh-huh. You should see the photos that this thing takes. Uh-huh. Molly, it is so cool. Uh-huh. Could you be quiet about the iPhone? It's dumb anyway. Who wants that phone? Not me. I don't want an iPhone. I wouldn't want an iPhone if it was the last phone at the AT&T store. You're just jealous. Whatever. I don't, ugh, I don't I don't even need that phone. It's dumb and I don't I don't need a phone. Who needs a phone? I could just call my friends on the on the I don't know. I could just walk to their house. Yeah, that's it. Get good exercise. Yeah. And then I don't have to waste my time studying for math tests that I'd fail anyway. Speaking of, I've got to go to a dance class. But I'm going to leave my phone here and let it charge. Because I didn't let it charge when I got it. And, and now there's no charge because I was so excited. And Uh-huh. Whatever. Bye, Daisy. Bye, Molly. I hope you have a better day. Okay, where did she leave that phone? I think I'm going to give it a try myself. I worked really hard. I should get have gotten an iPhone too. Just because I missed passing by two points? That's ridiculous. It's my phone now. 
Ooh, playing this Roblox game looks really fun. Wow, the resolution on this thing is amazing. Molly, what do you do? Hey, is that Daisy's phone? Um, eh, um, eh. Molly, don't you lie to me. Um, I, uh, she thought I said she thought I could borrow it. What? What are you even talking about, Molly? It's, uh, I'm sure she didn't let you borrow it, but I could ask her. Uh, okay, well, I should have got an iPhone. It's not fair. Molly, that is very unnice behavior. You do not take your sister's phone. It doesn't belong to you. Well, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna run away with it. Molly! The longer you act like this, the more you're grounded for. Well, at least I'll be happy if I can play this game before I'm grounded anyway. Molly! She won't find me in here. I'm just gonna hide in here by the toilet, play a little bit of this Roblox game. Selfie! Of me looking grumpy. <laughs> and it's not because I ate a bean burrito. Molly! Ah, she found me, Mom! Hand over Daisy's iPhone, Molly. Fine. Ah, I'm surprised you didn't smash the screen. You're being so jealous. Jealous? Why would I be jealous of her? Um, I don't know. Because you're acting jealous that she got an iPhone? Because she passed her test and you didn't? Mom, this is so, well, poopy! Molly! Well, it is. I mean, I want an iPhone too. And I studied really hard, Mom. Molly... You just need to study more often. You can't just cram right before the test and expect to do good in math. But I wanted an iPhone. I know, and it takes ongoing work to get prizes. Fine. I guess I don't get an iPhone then, do I? No, you don't, Molly. And you also get a week of grounding for stealing daisies. Ugh, my life really stinks right now. on the soccer team if it's the last thing I do. I just have to practice a lot and then I'll get really good and I'll be able to make it when I try out for the soccer team. They'll make me, um, maybe they'll make me soccer team captain. O-M-G. Uh-oh. I dropped my, my, my soccer ball in, in Sarah's fountain. Oh, uh, whatever. Are you serious? You are so terrible at soccer. I mean, you put it in my fountain. What were you even thinking? Um, sorry about that, Sarah. I didn't mean to. I was just practicing and, and well, I'm, I'm trying to get better so I can make it out of the soccer team. You will never be good enough to be on the soccer team. You're such a loser. Don't even bother practicing. Why would you say that, Sarah? I I'm working really hard. Because it's the truth. Ugh. Once a loser, always a loser. Oh, <laughs> that was really mean of you to say. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? What's going on? I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Are you okay? You never call me. You always text. I'm not okay. I, 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 Molly, calm down. Tell me. You can tell me anything. I know. That's why I called you because you're my best friend. But I was playing soccer and, and Sarah was bullying me about being terrible. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry she was saying that to you. That's, that's really not nice. Um, Molly, I'm so sorry, but I have to go do some homework now. But can we talk tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Molly. I'm sorry you're hurting right now. But don't forget, we're BFFs. I know. Thanks for listening, Brookie. Bye. Brookie! Hey, good morning! Oh, what's Sarah doing? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Good morning. Sarah, why are you talking to my best friend? I didn't know it was illegal to talk to people at school. Well, well, but she's my best friend. Um, Molly, it's okay. Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Not everything is fine. I... What? Are you feeling kind of jealous? <laughs> Maybe she wants to talk to me too, Molly. You don't own Brookie. Whatever! Oh, this is such the worst day of my life ever! Molly, what's going on? Are you okay? No, I'm having another bad day and it just started. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a rough time. But we have to get ready for this quiz we're having in math class. I can't even think about the quiz. All I can think about is the fact that... My best friend is becoming friends with Sarah, who's a giant bully! Aww. A 
Okay, class. Um, everybody, come on in. Come on. We have a quiz today. Molly, did you study? Yeah, sort of. Oh, could this day get any worse? Probably. I mean, you also look terrible in that orange yellow sweater or whatever it is. Oh my gosh. Now she's picking on my fashion sense too? Wow, this test is so much harder than I thought it would be. This test is a piece of cake. Oh, no wonder she thinks it's easy. She's so much smarter than me. I'm such a loser. Molly, don't say that. I just feel terrible about myself today. Sarah's really making me feel down. Okay, everybody, please hand in your test. Uh, the, uh... Test? I thought it was a quiz! Sorry, I meant quiz. The, the, uh, the class is over, so, uh, yeah, I just need to go get a cup of coffee. It's Monday and my brain's not awake yet. Okay, no problem, Mr. Jared. Phew, I'm glad that math test is over. Quiz, whatever, whatever it was! It was horrible and I don't ever want to take it ever again. <laughs> Time to get out my books from English class. What's this? It's a letter. I wonder who it could be from. Dear Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean? My BFF is Sarah? At least she's honest? Oh my gosh. Brookie, Brookie doesn't want to be my friend anymore! <laughs> I don't know what I ever did wrong, but I don't think that I'm mean or a liar. Molly, are you in here? You missed all of English class. Molly, are you with you? Just go away, Daisy. Molly, I know I'm only your sister, but if you need me to be, I could be your friend too. Come on out, Molly. Talk to me. Oh, I, I'm having the worst life ever. Oh, there, there, Molly. I'll give you a hug and then make you feel a lot better. It doesn't make me feel... Okay, it made me feel a little bit better, but... But I can't figure out why Brookie doesn't like me anymore. What? Brookie doesn't like you anymore? This is news to me. What's going on, Molly? I saw her hanging out with Sarah this morning. She was probably just talking to her to be nice. Yeah, but then I got this letter in, the, in my locker. What? Let me see that. It says... Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean, and I want to be best friends with Sarah because at least she's honest. Holy guacamole! This must sort of be some sort of huge misunderstanding. It must be, Molly. You know Pookie loves you. You're her best friend, and you've been that way since preschool, since you were toddlers. Well, this letter says it all. Our friendship, it's over. Well, Molly, at least we're having pizza for lunch. Well, yeah, I guess that is a plus. You, you can't, you can't knock having pizza for lunch. Well, but it's still making me really upset. Come on, Molly. The pizza will at least make you smile a little. You gotta be hungry. Yeah, I am pretty hungry. Okay, let's go to lunch. Pizza makes everything better, right? <gasps> oh my God. Pookie and Sarah are sitting next to each other. That letter must be true. Oh, look, it's a loser, Brookie. <sighs> Don't let her sit next to us. Well, um, uh... Oh, <laughs> everyone hates me, including my best friend. <laughs> Just hide behind this dumpster where nobody can find me. That's all anybody thinks I'm worth, trash. <laughs> We've been friends since we were toddlers, and now she doesn't even like me anymore. <laughs> Who's texting me? Oh, it's Brookie. I'm, I'm not even going to look at it. I mean, why should I? She's, she's not even my friend anymore. I mean, she's made it clear that she doesn't want to be my friend. So why just keep sending me texts to be mean to me or something? I don't need to look at those. I, I don't need to look at them. We're not friends anymore. 20 minutes later. Ha! Ah, what are you guys doing here? Well, we are walking home from school. You missed the rest of the day. Yeah, Molly, what were you thinking? Skipping school? Ugh, you're obviously not a good student. Well, um, that was never in question, was it? I mean, what's in question here is if I was a good friend and I don't think I was a bad one. I mean, I, I never have lied to you and, and I don't think I was mean to you. And if I have been, I, I... We don't want to uh -huh. hear it. Ugh, what's that smell? Ew, you smell like a dumpster. No wonder you're next to it because <laughs> you smell like garbage. Molly, I'm sorry, but... Sarah just seems like a better friend. I mean, at least she's honest. Yeah, but she's a bully. You want to be a bully? Well, I mean, you just don't know her like I do, okay? So, um, 
We're breaking up as friends. What? You don't want to be my friend anymore? Sorry, Molly, but no, I don't. I just want to be Sarah's friend now, and she's going to be my, my BFF, right, Sarah? Yeah, whatever. We're going to be BFFs. This is going to be awesome. I mean, she brings me coffee in the morning from Starbucks, so she's pretty cool. Listen to the yourself, Brookie. She's not a real friend. She's a bully. Molly, you're not going to change my mind about this. I want to be Sarah's friend. Well, I guess all of those years of us being BFFs mean nothing to you. You're right, Molly. They don't mean anything to me anymore. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> my life as I know it is over. It's just over. I mean, I don't even have a BFF anymore. Who am I even? Whoa, Molly, is your day still going really, really bad? Totally. Sarah and Brookie found me by the dumpster. What were you doing by the dumpster? Ew, it kind of smells bad. Don't remind me. They already did. What's going on, Molly? She decided she doesn't want to be my BFF anymore. What? So the letter was true? Yeah, every word. She's going to be Sarah's BFF. Oh, Molly, do you need a hug? Yes, I need a hug! <laughs> except for, except for Brookhaven, we're like ghosts, we can't actually hug each other. <laughs> well, we can just hug like this, Molly, here you go. There's a good hug for you. Oh, a Brookhaven hug, it'll have to do. <laughs> Molly, I'm always here for you, even though we don't get along. Sometimes I'm your sister and I love you. And I'll be your BFF until you find a new one. But what about Brookie? I thought she was my everything. My BFF. Well, Molly, I'm sorry you've had such a bad day. I hope things get better for you. Me too. Me too. See you guys later. Make sure you guys are listening to Molly. I don't know why you get to be in charge. You're the most immature of us all. Daisy, be quiet. I'm in charge and I'm telling you, shh. Girls, be nice to each other. Your mom and I don't get a date night very often and I don't want to get a call on my phone that you guys aren't getting along. We'll get along, Dad. Bye. I cannot believe what Brittany just said to Sadie. I know, right? Brookhaven High is getting crazy. Okay, well, we have to go and get her a diaper at some point. Yeah, in a minute, I want to watch this show. I got poo poo, huge. I got poo poo. How about you go poopy in the potty? You know, like a big kid. Nah, I wear diaper forever. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, I'm going to eat some popcorn. Mmm, this is delicious. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I like popcorn and I uh, like snack too. Okay, you can have some too. Here you go. I like that popcorn. Mmm, so good. <laughs> ah, I got her my dummy. OMG, having a baby sister is a lot of work. What was that? I didn't hear anything, Molly. Okay, I'm turning down the TV because I definitely heard something in the back door. There it is again! Well, I heard it that time too. It sounded really creepy. I wish mom and dad were home. I brave, I check what it is. No, baby Kara, we're Baby Kara, no! We're all gonna go together. I wanna go. I think it sounds super creepy, Molly. Let baby Kira. And that's why I was left in charge. Because you're gonna send our little sister to see if there's somebody outside? Creepy! She's too little for that. Come on, we're gonna all go together. Fine, but I hope it's not like a burglar or something. They're going to rob all the money from our safe. And then we can't go on our trip to Florida. It's going to be fine, Daisy. It's probably just the wind. See, I told you guys, nobody there. Oh, boy. That was a little creepy. Whoa, the lights just went out. They're flickering. Oh, my gosh. It's definitely somebody breaking in. No, Daisy, it's... Daisy! It's not somebody breaking in. I think it's just the power's going to go out because it's really windy. Probably the trees are scratching against the house, making a really creepy sound. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm still going back upstairs. Yeah, I think we should, but I think everything's going to be fine. No one's breaking into the house or anything like that. Okay, well, let's just watch a movie. Or we can watch the rest of Brookhaven High. I heard the Brookhaven High. Yeah, let's watch the rest of Brookhaven High. 
This episode is crazy. Uh, baby Kara, did you eat all the popcorn? Yeah, I did. Ew, baby Kara! Don't you have to go poo poo? <sighs> well, let me know when you do and we'll change your diaper. Yeah, baby Kara. Or you could go in the party too. Go party! Okay, no party. There's that sound again. I know, Valley. I heard it too. But like you said, there's a storm that's going to happen outside, so the wind is really high. So it's probably just trees scratching against the house. Sounds like it's getting closer. Hmm, is it at, at the front door? I don't... Wait a minute. What? What? Ah! Guys! There's a monster! It's at the, 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 the front door! What? What are you talking about? Like, don't prank me right now. Ah! She's not pranking! Everybody run to the panic room! Yeah, panic room! Good idea! <sighs> did you see that monster out there? I sure did, Molly. That was insane! Wait a minute. Where's Baby Kira? Oh my god, she didn't make it into the panic room! What? Baby Kira? Baby Kira? I had to buy it. I had to buy it. Oh, Baby Kira, I'm so glad to see you! I was so worried that the monster got you. Thank goodness Dad's a cop, so he's a bit paranoid about someone breaking into the house. Yeah, good thing he was. That monster would have gotten us if we hadn't had this t um, bunker to stay in. Yeah, huh. this panic room is definitely worth it. Huh. Well, I don't know if there's any snacks in here, but there's a bathroom and beds. What? No snacks? Don't worry, I have a uh, Reese's in my pocket. Mm. Molly, seal! Everybody might be hungry. Or better yet, save it in case we're in here for a long time. Well, eventually our parents will come home. They'll see the monster and... And get kidnapped by the monster! We have to call somebody! Um, that's just the thing. I forgot my cell phone on the couch. Oh, brother! And mom left you in charge! What was she thinking? I think I brought my yard. I think I brought my fire. What? Baby Kira... Use your words. I'm not afraid because the monster can get us in here. Molly, do you hear that weird sound again? I do. What, what do you think it could be? I got that a in your monster. What? Ah! He's trying to break into the panic room. Okay, let's just go over here, guys. Let's go over here. Uh, Molly, we could use a taser gun on him. No, I'm not going to open the door. That would be silly. We're, we're safe in here, right? I don't know, but I, I think so. Monster, what do you want from us? Uh, something tells me he doesn't speak English. Um, do you speak any language besides monster? Nope. Okay, well, I guess we're stuck in here. What if mom and dad don't come home for a really long time and the monster figures out how to get into our panic room? I don't think that can happen. This was built by the professionals, overseen by our dad, a police officer. He knows how to make a, pa a panic room safe. I just want mom and I have no way to tell her we're in here. Okay, DC, it's going to be fine. Dad's a cop. When he sees the monster, he'll know exactly what to do. I hope so, Molly. This is freaking me out. I like Mantos. Mantos nice. No! Monster is not nice, baby Kira. Monster's me! I like Manto nice. Okay, where is the monster? Is he still there? Oh my god, he's still... Baby Kira, do not open the door! <sighs> well, I locked it so she can't. Good thing, Molly, because she thinks monsters are nice. That's it! We're never getting out of here! We're gonna be stuck in the panic room forever! But eventually, Mom and Dad will come home from their date, right? Uh, I hope so. Why are you running in circles? Because I'm bored and I want to get out of here. I'm Michael. I'm Michael. We be friends. Baby Kira, I told you already. The monster can't come in here. No, I go out to monster. What? But I locked the door. Oh, Baby Kira, you scared me. Baby Kira, what? Baby Kira, don't go down the escape hatch. Oh, my God. Daisy, we have a problem. Huh. <sighs> Baby Kira just went down the escape hatch! What? Are you serious? That's a one-way exit! This means that... That... She's gonna be out there with the monster! Oh my gosh! This is so bad! No! Monster! You stay away from my baby sister! Hi, monster! I come see you! Bye! Bye, monster! <sighs> ah! Baby Kira, run! Oh 
Oh my gosh. Babies are adorable, but not that smart when they're little. <laughs> they are constantly trying to get into harm's way. <laughs> Baby Kara! Okay, I don't want to have to do this, but I'm going to have to. Calling in the big dogs. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm freaking out! Ah! Daisy, I need your help! Okay, she's going to be useless. i got to unlock this door. i got to unlock it. Why can't I unlock the door? Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to tease you, monster! Free Mom to fun! Get back and back right! Wait, what? Ha ha ha! Ha I babysit. Wait, what? You, you just wanted to babysit? I like kids. They're nice. Wait, you look creepy, though. Hold still, I'm still going to tease you! Dad, Dad, take my friend! Monta nice! Monta not doing anything wrong! Okay, I'm totally confused right now. Why do you make all those weird sounds? Because he's a monster, we can't help it! I put my hands out to arrest. I'm not going to arrest you, baby Kira. But I may arrest this monster just because he's real creepy. What's going on out here? Why is baby Kira hanging out with a monster? Well, if you had paid attention, uh, instead of having your little moment of scaredy catness, is that even a word, scaredy catness? No, it's not a word! Um, you would know that baby Kira has befriended the monster. Uh, this seems bad, Molly. Really bad. I like Monto, Monto nice. Whee! I'm not me. I just love me. Don't judge book by its cover. Oh, well, uh, I'll have to ask Mom and Dad if you can babysit. I'll be right back. I've got to get my cell phone. Well, it never fails, Molly. We always get a call on our date night. What is it? Ah, this time it's really important! Um, uh, Molly, there's more popcorn in the pantry. No! Uh, it's really important, Dad! The diapers are in baby Kira's, uh, her in her nursery. Honey, come on! Let's go play this game next! Are you guys at the arcade without us? Uh, no, uh, uh, yeah. What? You went to Dave and Buster's without us? That's so not fair. Molly, tell him what's going on! Okay, um, there was a monster at the door... And he seemed really mean, so we went into the um, panic room. Baby Kira escaped, you know. I'm sorry, I did my best, but she's kind of a troublemaker. What? What are you talking about, a monster? We're going to come home immediately. Oh, but I wanted to play this game. Laura, the kids are in trouble. No, no, not necessarily. Uh, Baby Kira got out and found out that the monster is actually really nice. He'd like to know if he could babysit us. Well, I mean, we could stay, stay at Dave and Buster's if... He's trustworthy, that is. Yeah, that's true, and I didn't play this new Star Wars game yet. Ooh, it looks so fun. Dad! Um, I don't know. A monster babysitting you seems like a bad idea. You're still in charge, Molly, and we'll be home in about 15 minutes. Okay. Sorry, my parents said no. What? Why does everyone judge me? Don't worry, Michael. You can come for dinner. Yeah, you can still come for dinner. My parents just have to be there to meet you first because, well, you're a monster and we have to make sure you're not a mean monster, but a nice monster. Okay, when's dinner? Tomorrow, four o'clock. Yeah, we'll make pizza. Wait, do monsters eat pizza? Of course. Delicious. <laughs> See you then. I saw it, Molly, our first snow of the season. Mom, what are you doing with that giant thermos on your back? Well, <laughs> since it's snowing, I figured you girls might want some hot chocolate. Mom, that's a giant thing of hot chocolate. Well, it's very chilly out. You might need it to warm up. Mom, can I go outside and play in the snow? Please, 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 please. Of course you can, Molly, but wear a coat. Okay, fine, I'll find a coat. Now, what did I do with my coat from last year? Uh, uh, it's in the closet, Molly. Okay, and a hat too, Molly. Yeah, and I'm ready for some snow. Oh, Molly, you look adorable in that cow hat. Yeah, I got this at the mall. <laughs> I thought it was adorable. Well, have fun outside. I'm old, so I'm just going to sit here and watch you play outside while I drink hot chocolate. Mom, you're not that old. I mean, you're not the crib keeper yet. Um, I think that was a compliment. Yeah, totally, Mom. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, Daisy smells. She farted and laid an egg in something about this song. 
What are you even talking about, Molly? That's a terrible version of Jingle Bells. Especially since it said I smell. Because I don't. Daisy, what's in the box? Huh? 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 Molly, you are to stay away from this box. It is none of your beeswax what's in this box. Ooh, Amazon. Is there Christmas movies in there? Is there a trip to Disney? Molly, you can't buy a trip to Disney on Amazon. Is there a llama? I always wanted a pet llama. It's your Christmas present, and you are to stay out of the garage, Molly. Um, okay, if you say so. I'm totally gonna snoop when she's not looking. <laughs> Whoa, look at all this snow. I'm gonna make a snow angel. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Ah, da -doo -doo -doo. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move over a little and make more snow angels. Ah, this is the life. I love Christmas time. Molly, remember what I said? No going in the garage. Me? I would never snoop. Pfft. I'm totally innocent of something like that. Sure you are. Now I'm going to go inside and warm up. Um, because I'm freezing and Mom's got a giant thing of hot chocolate. Apparently she thinks we need enough hot chocolate for an entire army. Yeah, totally. Okay, well, I'm just going to play in the snow. Bye. Oh, she's gone. Now I can snoop and see what I got for Christmas. <laughs> but before I snoop, I definitely want to climb this tree. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. Ugh. Ugh. It's too tall. I can't climb it. Oh, this is so stinky. Oh, my neighbor looks like they got a hoverboard. Wait, what's it say? Molly, stay out? <laughs> they can have this box of, well, junk. Some creepy doll that they accidentally sent me from Amazon instead of my hoverboard. <sighs> like anybody wants that for Christmas. I'll just take this and leave the creepy doll for Molly. <laughs> Sounds like a perfect plan. Checking to see if the coast is clear. I don't see my sister anywhere, so time to snoop. <laughs> okay, where's that box? Here it is! <laughs> Amazon. I wonder what it could be. I can't wait to see. It's going to be so amazing. Christmas is not the same unless you snoop beforehand. <laughs> okay, let's open it up. What? What is this? Is is that a doll? I'm way too grown up for that. Why would my sister give me a doll? Green light. Ah! She talked. There must be an off button on her somewhere. There isn't. <laughs> what? That was creepy. Red light. Ah! Creepy! Her eyes are... I don't know. Ah! Ow! Oh my gosh, this doll is evil. Why did my sister order this for me for Christmas? Hey, turn off the laser eyes. Turn them off. Okay, there's got to be a remote control on here somewhere. I'm going I'm to try to turn her off. I told you, there is no off button. <laughs> ah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Green light. Why on earth would my sister give me that creepy doll? I don't like that at all. That's a terrible Christmas present. Oh, I'm going to have the worst Christmas ever now. Hey, Molly, did you have fun? Don't talk to me. Molly, what has gotten into you? Why are you being so rude to me? Want some hot chocolate? Would that make you feel better? Maybe you're just hangry. I'm not hangry. I, I just don't want you as a sister anymore. Molly, why would you say that? Don't bother me. I'm going to watch TV. Christmas is ruined because of you. What? What do you mean Christmas is ruined? I'm going to watch some funny animal videos. want to be left alone. Molly, come on. You're not acting in the spirit of Christmas, are you? Well, you are either. You didn't even care what you got me. What? What are you talking about? <gasps> Molly, have you been snooping at my present in the garage? <laughs> Who, me? No, I'd never do that. Why are you accusing me of that? Literally, I am shocked that you would accuse me of that. That's just rude. Molly, if the shoe fits, then you're probably Cinderella. And everybody knows you're a snooper at Christmas. Okay, I don't have to take this. This is just rude. I, I, I wish you were never even my sister. Molly, that's so mean. I, I spent all of my allowance for three months buying you a Christmas present. Oh, really, Daisy? I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I really am, Daisy. I'm sure I'll love it. Seppi, you snooped. Um, 
Uh, uh, you want it? You want some hot chocolate, a cookie or anything? Molly, you did snoop! Okay, yes, I snooped. But Daisy, uh, I, I, I have to say I'm shocked by your present. Why? Okay, um, come with me. Maybe you didn't take it out of the package or something? It's creepy, Daisy. Daisy, are you coming? Oh, I had to put on my coat and stuff. Jeepers, Molly. Never mind. I guess I don't need a coat. What is that? What do you mean, what is that? That's what you got me for Christmas. Boo, it's freezing out here. And that is not what I got you for Christmas. What? It, it's not? No, I didn't get you that. I got you a hoverboard. You did? Holy guacamole, that's an amazing present. I'm literally so happy right now. But Molly, the problem is, is where's the hoverboard? All there is is this creepy doll. She kind of looks like the squid doll from the squid game show. You're right. And where is my hoverboard? Green light. Uh, Molly? She's definitely the squid doll. Yeah, and she shoots lasers out of her eyes. She shot me right in the bum bum. It hurt really bad. Really, Molly? Yeah, it almost made me fart. <laughs> oh boy, we have to return this to Amazon. There's no returning me. You're stuck with me forever. I'm a curse. Red light. What? Okay, Daisy, this is the part where you don't move. Why? What happens if you move? <laughs> Ouch! What are you doing that hole? I didn't do it. It was a crazy doll. Well, this is definitely not good. So we gotta put it back in the box. Here, I've got a box right here. Get it in the box. I don't think so. Ha <laughs> Um, okay. Are you gonna say green light? Green light. <laughs> You're evil. Get in the box. Get in the box. Thank goodness you got her back in the box. Yeah, except for she's trying to get out. Let me out of here. Okay, I've got to mark the box. Um, don't open. Just, uh, 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 throw away, Amazon. <laughs> there, that should do it. Molly, what if they don't know to throw it away? Um, I guess that's their problem. Oh boy, I would not want to be an Amazon worker right now. That squid doll is evil. Now, I have to get on the phone with Amazon and see why uh, your hoverboard wasn't actually uh, delivered. Hello, this is Amazon. How may I help you? Wow, that's kind of an informal greeting. I, I ordered a hoverboard and I got an evil doll instead. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? Yeah, and I really need the hoverboard for my sister's Christmas present. Sorry, um, we're getting really backed up here at Amazon, you know, trucking shortages, all sorts of things. You probably should just give her the evil doll. What? That doesn't sound right. I, I, I'm returning the evil doll. I marked it, don't open, just throw away, Amazon. Well, we actually have to, like, do the return process and... Just take the doll back! Good grief, and give me my hoverboard! Molly... Kill them with kindness. Don't be so rude. Okay, fine. I'm just going to go put it out for the Amazon driver. Ugh. W wait a minute. There's the neighbor, Joe. What? He has a hoverboard and it... Wait a minute. Did you take my package from Amazon? Uh, see you later. Hey, give me my hoverboard. Take back this evil doll. I know what I'll do. <laughs> I'll let her out of the box. Okay, squid doll. Get him. Red light. What's, what's, what's going on? I, I, I don't think I moved. Uh, uh. You totally moved. <laughs> oh, that really hurt. Oh. Well, I guess I'm going to be getting my hoverboard back. <laughs> Thanks, Joe, for stealing my Christmas present. Now I have to go apologize to Daisy. Have fun with that squid doll. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Daisy? I told you already, I don't want the squid doll. Uh, Daisy, everything's fine. You can hang up. What? No, this is... Okay, fine, I'll hang up. What's wrong? Nothing. I just sicked the skid squid doll on Joe, who stole my hoverboard, and I got my hoverboard back. You can't have your hoverboard. I have to wrap that for Christmas. Can I play with it for just, like, an hour? No, it's your Christmas present. Well, look, Daisy, um... It's really the thought that counts, even if you did give me a bad present. I did it! I gave you a good one! Yeah, I know. That's why. It's really great that you thought about it. 
you get it? The thought that counts and you really thought about Okay, never mind. Um, but I love you, Daisy, and I'm sorry I said such mean things. It's okay, Molly, but you better get me a really great Christmas present. Wait, what? I'm supposed to get you a Christmas present? Molly! 